so guys i am here at the hotel that i am staying um my company was nice enough to get me a really really good room actually so i'm super super happy with that but beyond that i wanted to show you guys what i'm going to be eating since i am going to be starting this carnivore diet immediately now this today as of to it started today actually it started yesterday kind of treating it as today yesterday was like a version of it that you know like i, I went to costco and got a salad and uh, i ate the chicken from it and so um, i also I ate the entire salad let's be honest i ate the entire salad yesterday but today it's straight carnivore today i just had some chicken and that was it but let me show you guys what i'm going to be eating that way if you guys are in a traveling situation and you guys want to remain carnivore that way you guys can see uh, i've kind of upgraded some of the stuff that i like to eat and let me show you what it is so again luckily i was the i was able to get a full kitchen which is nice so i can go ahead and cook and i'm gonna have to get a different pan because that thing sucked so first thing i needed some kind of salt um and i went ahead and bought some pink himalayan salt i went ahead and you know got something that was on sale again it's gonna be for a short period of time so no need to go spending huge amounts of money you know so pink himalayan salt really good amount of minerals if you can get celtic salt even better or if you get you can get um the colima salt or retman real salt i like the retman real salt but i wasn't able to find any at the moment so got this something that's going to be a pretty big staple uh, was this tuna can i know a lot of people look at tuna and they think about all the mercury and stuff like that but tuna surprisingly isn't that bad and to be honest if i'm going to be eating anything this is tuna in water and that's all it is and it's very high quality tuna so um this is some really good stuff and i got it for a buck each can so i got several cans as you can see and so we're good to go on this so i'm going to be eating lots of tuna so i Went ahead, and I opened it, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get some tuna. And when I tasted it, the whatever that was, it was it, it was a soy-based uh, food again, soy, exactly what I need with my man boobs. I opened it up, and it it smelled horrible, and it looked weird. I thought for a quick second, oh my god, is this tuna like messed up? And because it had green on top, it had like green on top. You know how when you open a can of tuna, you you just see the water and it was supposed to be in water and that even didn't didn't even quite look like water it had a bunch of preservatives in it and a couple of other things i tasted it thinking you know what this this might just be you know that they added flavor they added something and as soon as i tried it i spit it back out i've never tried any of that beyond burger any of the none of that artificially made meat until now uh, right now that's not artificially made but i mean it's made out of soy and i really don't eat that i toss that out and i I don't like tossing food out even if it is soy based and I feel kind of crappy doing so but I know that that's just crap food it's something that I will not consume so so much for tuna I guess I'm gonna have to go back to, to the mall and get some more tuna which is not that expensive unless you get super high quality tuna or something like that but that was a little bit of a bummer actually not tuna they're called tuna so I messed it up by an A or an O I can't get that flavor off of my mouth. And then sardines in water. These are great. These are just straight up sardines. I know a lot of people can't stomach sardines, but there's a really good omega profile on these, omega-3 profile on them. It's cheap. It was it was super cheap as well. I got them on sale as well. A lot of people apparently don't like sardines, so <laughs> I went ahead and bought uh, three of these. I believe it was a buck for them, for each one of them, so that's good as well. This is a salad from Costco. I got two yesterday, but I only ate one, and I'm not sure I'm gonna be eating this one, so we'll see what we do with this. If anything, I'll just eat the chicken. I did get some beef that wasn't sale again, some chuck, so I'm gonna slowly cook this, put some water in it, some salt, and uh, I think I'm just gonna cook it like that and go a little savage on it, you know? Like that. Two of those right there. And then I also got some, I found some, some grass-fed beef. Sure, it's not grass-finished, but I mean, it's not bad. It's a good find for where I'm, where I'm at, and it didn't break the bank. It was actually five, um, sorry, four ninety-nine a pound, which is really, really good considering that it's grass-fed. Yeah, sure, it might not be grass-finished, but at least it's grass-fed. And then I got some bacon, and surprisingly, this doesn't have a lot of. It doesn't have any nitrates or anything like that. It's just literally uh, doesn't even have a gram of sugar. So I was really, really surprised in the 
the amount of stuff that's in it is super, super minimal. Some bacon. I'm also gonna be getting some eggs pretty soon. I wasn't able to find any good cheap eggs and I didn't want to get shitty eggs. So that's something I found. And I also found these guys. I found some swordfish and I know it's pretty high on mercury and a couple of other things and maybe even lead and all the crap that's going around right now in the sea. Yeah, these fish tend to pick up quite a bit of it, but it was on sale. And again, we're not gonna be eating huge amounts of it. So it's just two steaks. And I believe it was uh, $5.99. It was marked down from like 12 bucks. So super happy with that, you know? Hey, swordfish steaks, it's drying up. To be honest, this is way too big of a place for me. And I feel like it's just too, it's big. <laughs> um, but it's also pretty cool because um, there's a gym here on site so that's pretty good I'll be able to work out on all my exercises for my shoulders which have been getting a lot better thanks to physical therapy it's finally going good and as far as the hip and knee goes it's been getting a little bit better I was able to notice it on this long long trip I was I had to drive quite a bit to get up here I didn't feel it as much and I'm very happy about that I still felt it quite a bit but not as much as I used to before so there's some positive improvements happening for sure and We'll see where the next two weeks of being here take us. Um, it kind of sucks that I started this carnivore diet um, while here in San Francisco, but it was also a challenge for me. That's exactly why I decided to start the carnivore diet here because I knew if I had a little bit more leeway, I was gonna go down to San Francisco, probably eat some stuff that I shouldn't be eating or stuff that, not that I shouldn't, that I should not be eating, but stuff that I knew wasn't good for me at the moment. Right now, I need to start cutting down a little bit more. I need to start getting to a healthier place and the carnivore diet knows how to do that. It just works on me pretty well. And I think that I'll be adding some more stuff in the near future after I do the next two weeks. That way I can show you how I've been able to optimize this carnivore diet a lot, a lot better. But yeah, if you guys are traveling, this is definitely a good shopping list. There's some sardines, some tuna, um, see whatever's on sale on the market. If, if you're not going to be staying long in one place, um, you know, just be smart about it. Get some good salt in you, get some good couple of supplements. If you can bring them with you, they will definitely, definitely help. And they will lessen the burden of making travel super, super heavy. So guys, I just got back from my workout. Uh, <laughs> I did a couple of things. As you guys can see, I'm still sweating like crazy. Um, everything just looks a little shinier. That's all sweat, trust me. I did a couple of things at the gym. I did abs, I did some shoulders. I did basically a full body workout and it's, it was all relatively light. With what my doctor prescribed me for my shoulders and since I still haven't gotten seen for my knee and my hip, I, I didn't do much for my lower body. And what I did do for my lower body, it was all body weight. Well, everything was mostly body weight. Uh, some stuff for like my shoulders, I did do some weight. Otherwise, if you just start building muscle, the, uh, the tendons won't heal and there's more probabilities of then tearing or injuring myself once again in the near future. So started doing that and that all took about an hour. It was a good workout. <laughs> and I also did my run and I haven't run in the past weeks as much. Um, I've been doing very light runs, no more than a mile. Uh, and I've been doing it with my Incredibear knee sleeve. Uh, I just took it off. The one that goes all the way up to my leg, if you haven't seen my video on the Incredibear knee sleeve and shoulder brace and a couple of others, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a link to it up here. I really recommended the product, especially if you have like a knee problem, there's a knee sleeve, or if you have a whole leg, hip, and everything else problem, you can use this leg sleeve. And this one just works for the entire leg. So it covers you from your calf, from the bottom of your calf, all the way up to your leg, through like your inner side, the inner part of your crotch. It really does work, it really helps out. Otherwise, I think I'd be, quite in a little bit of pain while running. So that was a great little workout. So just to let you know, I am doing this carnivore diet, but I'm also moving. I'm moving a lot. I'm moving a lot more than I ever have before. One, I've gotten the okay from the doctor. And two, I think it's time and, and to really, really start pushing it. And just to really maximize these results from this carnivore diet, I'm, I'm super stoked. I'm super happy that I'm getting, I guess another chance to do all this um, 
and then show it to you guys. That way you guys can see, especially right now, apparently there seems to be a whole lot of carnivore diet hype all of a sudden. I'm guessing people are starting to see that it really does work or that it at least has a lot of benefit or a lot of merit to it. Yeah, you do get a lot of benefits with the carnivore diet alone, but I think like in, if, if you're anything like me, uh, that you have quite a bit of things your genes might be working against you might have been super insulin resistant for the longest time ever and then you're trying to get yourself back into this state of well to a normal state getting your body down to a kind of a zero line you know ground zero it, it's gonna take a while and it's gonna take everything you have it's gonna take your diet your diet is only a component of it getting some exercise in totally relaxing, being completely aware of your environment. Are you getting enough sleep? What's stressing you out? All these things put together, I think will definitely make a difference. Something that I have been adding to the carnivore diet and I wanted to let you know guys this week was tea. I started drinking tea and I started lowering the caffeine. Then the only times I do drink caffeine is in the morning and it's a very small amount. It's half of this cup. That's how much caffeine I've been drinking. This is a, I believe like a, eight ounce cup? Yeah, it's an eight ounce cup. I drink half of that. So the reason is, as you guys all know, coffee does mobilize, help mobilize some fat and it has some good polyphenols in it. And it also does help give you a little bit of a boost, which is something that you definitely need, especially if you're waking up at five in the morning like I am and you know, getting on a treadmill all of a sudden and just start walking or walking for 15 to 20 minutes. So that helps me out with my fat mobilization. You know, it's, it's a little bit, again, it's little by little, these little things that you compound together just all add up to something big. Then the second thing that I've been adding is ginger tea, cinnamon, and lemon. As you guys know, ginger does some great stuff for your gut. Um, as you guys all know, uh, ginger has a lot of positive benefits. And one of those positive benefits that I'm very much interested in is in controlling your insulin levels. It's great at controlling your insulin levels, which is why I also added cinnamon. Cinnamon also helps you control your insulin levels. So that those are two big factors why I use those. But there's also a second reason why I use ginger and that's because it really helps out with inflammation. And right now I'm in a state where I can use all the help I can get. And so that really does help. Uh, Again, it's just a one-two combo kind of thing. And lemon is just for the electrolytes. It just really helps out with all that. I mean, the, the, there's plenty more benefits that you can get out of cinnamon, ginger, and lemon, but we'll leave it at that right now. But those are one of some of the main, main reasons why I use these things. So yeah, I think this really, really works for me. And I have been thinking, would you guys be interested in me doing reviews of barbecue places since barbecue is like the one thing we can, all carnivores can kind of mostly agree on. Steakhouses, that kind of thing. Would you guys be interested in me going into certain places like, you know, like famous places like San Francisco, San Diego, maybe Mexico, Tijuana, those kinds of spots and maybe reviewing a couple of spots, you know, trying out a steak here, um, recording and showing you guys, hey, this is what I think about this steak. What do you guys think? Um, that kind of thing. Would you guys be interested in that? Leave it all in the comment section below. This thing's starting to get cold and I'm not gonna let that crime happen. So I am going to eat all this and I'll get back to you with the results. For no way, look at that guys, that is awesome.